Okay, guys, it's the time that you hopefully have been waiting for. We're going to do the soak video for Rogers Silver Streak number 12. So first, what I want to do is I want to make the solution for the deacidification. Now, in the past, I did three tablespoons of calcium hydroxide and one of methyl cellulose. I'm going to do one of methyl cellulose because that is a strengthening agent. Then the calcium hydroxide, instead of doing three, which I used to do, I'm only going to do two. So we're going to put it in one, two. What? Oh, wrong one, two. Okay. Now the next thing that I want to do, and I'm not Tony Montana, is I want to pour boiling hot water into this chamber because I want this all to dissolve in the hot water. So stay tuned. Let me get the hot water. Okay. I just put in the boiling hot water. And what you want to do is you want to stir it periodically so that the powder dissolves into the hot water. Now I'm going to keep this in the measuring beaker probably for a good 20 minutes to a half an hour because I really want it to dissolve. And I'm actually thinking about then taking it and putting it in the blender maybe to mix it a little bit. Maybe I won't do that. We'll see how it dissolves on its own. So let's keep this in for about 20 minutes. And then after that, we're going to get our vessel, our tub, and we're going to do the process of soaking the cover. And I'll show you what we're going to do differently from past soaking. So stay tuned. Okay, YouTube, the time has come where we are going to soak or de assify hopefully the cover of the comic. So what I want to do is I had my solution or my chemicals soaking in here for about a good 25 minutes to a half an hour. We're going to put them in. Okay. Next, what I want to do is put some pasta in here with some salt and we're going to make some red sauce. Only kidding. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get my grate ready. Then we're going to use the Ramey paper. Now this is going to be a little different from the past uploads because what I experienced was I believe the plastic of the grate uh, rubbed against the cover and it caused a little damage. So then I'm going to put my cover on top, make sure it's nice and flat. And I want to do a shout out to Night Tiger Comics. Now, Mike, if you don't know him, is a great guy. And I was speaking to him this week. And what he told me was that he believed that he gave me the idea for these greats, and I think he may have. So I want to do a shout out to him and thank him for that. We're going to put now a piece of Ramey paper on top to protect the cover from the plastic. So there we go. We're going to put that on. make sure it's nice and flat so what i want to do now is i want to get my brush so i can brush it out because we want this <clears throat> excuse me to be flat as well and hopefully this will protect the cover the way i want it Okay, next what we're going to do is we are going to put 
the second grate on top. And then what we're gonna do is if you recall, I have my toilet bowl seat, plastic bolts and nuts. So this will hold it together. I'm not gonna do it that tight. Just tight enough to keep it snug. Let's flip it around. The Ramey paper is a little big, so I'll put it on this end here. This is fine. And then we'll tighten down the bolt. I hope the camera's picking this up. If it isn't, it's no big deal. Okay, tighten that down. I wanna put this to the side because I just wanna agitate it before give it one last mixing. Now, believe it or not, just based on the Ramey paper going on the cover, I smell, and I believe it's true, the acidity coming off. I, th there's a unique smell. So what I wanna do is I wanna slowly lower the cover into the solution. And I want the solution to absorb. And for the weight, what we'll do is we'll use the glass measuring cup. And I want to keep this in here for about 25 minutes, 25 minutes, a half an hour. I'm only going to do one soaking. As you may recall in my past uploads regarding the deacidification, I did three soakings, but I'm just gonna do one soaking. And already I see the brown developing. So what I think I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna cut it now, and then in about 20, 25 minutes, we'll put the camera back on, and then we'll take it from there. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, the cover has been soaking in the bath for about 20 minutes. And during the course of that time, I agitated it so the methyl cellulose and the calcium hydroxide were moved around a little bit. So I don't know if the camera is picking it up but the water, excuse my oil burner, the water is definitely, definitely brown or browner. It was clear. Let me shut off the burner, hold on. Okay, so if you can see, it definitely is browner. So hopefully what this did was it removed a lot of the tanning and foxing that was on the cover. So I like to do this. I like to cascade the water down in order to let the brown acidic solution roll down the actual cover into the bottom of the vessel. Now, the important thing about this process, what I learned is that when I dry this, I have to dry it between my two heavy pieces of glass with weights. Now I see people online, uh, wetting covers and cleaning them and they let the cover dry naturally or they put it in an oven. Based on my experience, that doesn't work because the cover will ripple and it will dry not flat. And we wanna keep it as flat as possible. Now, if you look at the conservation uploads, in the famous museums in Europe 
and in the United States, they all flatten the wet document between some type of cold press. And the key thing is to basically make sure that you change the blotting paper between the actual or between the, the paper because you want it to dry nicely. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same method on the back and we'll let it cascade down. To be honest, I think I am going to let the cover soak a little more with the back cover up. And then what I'm going to do is I'll take it out and off camera, I am going to take the grates and I am going to rinse the cover. I'm going to rinse the cover in my sink and I'm not going to do it on film because I want to try to flush out all the chemical. So next time you see me, I'll have the cover out and we'll put it in the pressing glasses. So stay tuned. Okay, my fellow YouTubers, the time has come. We are done soaking. So I'm gonna take it out. Let it drain out. It looks pretty good. But you have to understand, you really can't tell until it's completely dry. Now I want to show you, I don't know if the camera is picking this up, but this water is brown. And this brown, in my opinion, is, you got it, the dirt from the cover as well as the acid being drawn out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump this. I'm going to take the grate that houses Roger's cover. And I'm going to take it up stairs out of the basement. And I am going to wash the cover just as it is with fresh water. Because I want to cascade the chemical off of the cover and then what we'll do is we will set it up in the drawing press so stay tuned let me just take the camera off and then maybe you can get a better look i don't know if the camera is picking up the brown or the discolorization of this water but I can definitely see it. So hopefully we're successful. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, I basically rinsed the cover off. Now, as I said, this is, in my opinion, with what I learned doing this stuff, the most important step of any liquid bath for paper is to let it dry naturally and change the blotting papers. In this case, I'm using paper towels. So I'll use three paper towels on the bottom. So there you go, there's three. Let's take my bolts off so we can open up the actual grates that Mike from Night Tiger Comics gave me the idea. But I just also want to say, Mike, that you may have watched it. Because if you look at any aqueous treatment of paper, I would say the majority of the people or places that, that actually do the process, they use this type of grading system. So I appreciate the tip. You probably got it from there or some other use that you used it for. But 
I want to give credit due because I am someone who gives credit when it's deserved. And Mike is a real good guy. I spoke to him actually this week on the telephone for quite some time. So that's another great reason for doing this. You meet new people, new friends. Okay, so here it is. What I want to do first, I hope the camera is picking it up, is I just want to use some paper towels to blot as much moisture as I can off of the cover. Because there's no need to put a soaking wet piece of paper in there. So we'll blot as much water as we can. And then we're gonna compress it. Now, like I said, I think this is the most important step with any liquid bath for paper or comic book covers. You really wanna let it dry naturally. I tried doing the heat method with the heat press and with the iron and all that jazz. You have to understand that when I make these videos, there is a lot more experimentation that goes with it off camera. I only show you a portion of what I do. And even like with this upload, I did a lot of work off camera as well with the rinsing the cover. So right now I can tell that I think this method was successful. And I think it definitely brightened the cover. And I think we're gonna get rid of some of that pesky acid because I smelt it, like I indicated. If you don't know what acid smells like, soak some old paper in water with calcium hydroxide and you'll smell it. Okay, I know what acid tastes like when I was younger, if anyone knows what I'm saying. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my top piece on. There you go. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the weights on. So here's 10 pounds. Here is now 20. And then here you go, another 10. So we're gonna keep that in here like this. We're gonna let it dry naturally. And I think I'm going to end this upload. I'm going to basically do one more upload with the results and I'll do some before and after pictures as well. And that will be most likely in two days. So wish us luck, you two. Wish Roger luck. I don't think we need it this time. I think this is going to turn out very well. And push the subscribers, everyone, if you don't mind, if I can ask you a favor, because I want to wrap this 500 subscriber giveaway uh, as soon as possible, because I'm going to pick whatever book that is the choice of the commenters. And depending on what book is chosen, I'm going to work on the book that I'm going to show from 400 and 40, 475 subscribers to 500. I'm going to work on the book, clean it, press it, and then the draw will be uh, made one week after 500 subscribers. So thank you very much and stay tuned.